What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to get an FPS counter in Hogwarts Legacy. It's very simple to do, especially if you're on Steam, though I will be showing you a few methods, and the second one doesn't require any specific platform or type of graphics card. To get an FPS counter on Steam, hit Shift Tab while you're in game, head across to Settings at the very bottom of your screen here, then inside of the in-game tab here. We'll make sure to look down here to in-game FPS counter and change it from off to top left or another corner of the screen. To get it green and very easy to see, set it to high contrast color. Hit OK and when you do so, you'll see an FPS counter in the top left corner or wherever you selected it. Now, of course, you can get an FPS counter using NVIDIA GeForce Experience and the NVIDIA Overlay or even the AMD Adrenaline software if you're on AMD, but for a platform agnostic method, the easiest software to use is MSI Afterburner. While it's usually used for overclocking, you can also use it to control your graphics card's fan to keep it nice and cool while playing. And of course, it isn't just for MSI cards or NVIDIA cards. It works for AMD, NVIDIA from any distributor. I'll assume you already have it installed. I've opened it up here. If not, in the description down below, you'll find a download link. When you've installed it, you may see a display that looks somewhat similar to this. There there are many different skins for this. All you're looking for is the settings icon or settings button. I'll click it in the bottom right for me and we'll get this new screen with tons of different options. On the very last one, we have user interface where you can customize the skin. Yours is probably one of these. But anyway, when you see this options menu, what you'll do is head across to the monitoring tab here, which is the third one. Then we'll look for frame rate on this list, which should be somewhere here at the very bottom frame rate. I'll turn this on. Then right below, we'll choose to enable the on-screen display and I'll hit apply. In the top left, you should now see an FPS counter. Mine is covered up by Steams. If I turn that off, you'll see it there. If you don't see an FPS counter, as we've just enabled it, make sure you have RiverTuner Statistics Server installed and opened up. When you're installing MSI Afterburner, you'll have the ability to choose and install RTSS. So just make sure you do. Otherwise, you can download it and open it after the fact. For me, it wasn't open when I enabled it, so I didn't get it right away. I just hit start, typed in River, R-I-V-A, and opened the RiverTuner Statistics Server. And just like that, in the top left, I now have an FPS counter. The best thing about this is that it is customizable. So if I scroll over here and look in the properties section, let's go to say GPU temperature. If I select it and choose show in on-screen display, then apply, you'll see just like that, we now have a GPU temperature counter as well in the top left of our screen. It's very easy to use and intuitive. Just click to the left-hand side to tick or untick an option. And when you have it selected, you can enable or disable the on-screen display option here. On top of this, there's tons of customization, like we can enable a graph by choosing text graph. We can click the three dots and customize colors, etc. There's tons of things that we can do here, but all you'll really need to do is just enable the frame rate as text. Otherwise, text and graph should give you a better idea of what's happening. There we go. Sweet. When you're done, you can head back to monitoring and just simply turn off whatever you have here. Otherwise, on the on-screen display tab, we have a toggle button, a show button, and a hide button. We can put this as, say, control numpad minus to toggle it. That way, if I hit control numpad minus, it hides it just like that. Once again, it'll show it. Very easy. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Personally, I just prefer the Steam one. It's very hidden away and is just on in every game. I don't need third-party software as long as it's on Steam. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!